Okay guys, gonna go through uh, 7G reset and we're gonna swap data on bench um, without the need of having a, a factory tool to do it. So you can kind of do this if you get bench work or you're just gonna go out to the job real quick and you wanna swap the data so this car will start. Um, let's go through that process. So this would be acting as my original unit uh, that was in the car that's bad. So maybe the old tranny that was installed and now this is my donor tranny that is now installed or at least on the ground, something like that. But this is gonna be the one that's going in the car, right? We wanna reset this one and program it in um, with the uh, mobilizer data from the car, okay? So we're gonna play uh, role play based on you have access just to this stuff. So let's go ahead and open up our Diag Speed software. One thing I wanted to note, guys, um, currently I have this plugged in. You can see the amperage being drawn. Um, that's typical for most control units, is right around 250 to 350 uh, milliamps. Uh, the one thing you will do notice is if these little pockets right here are for the solenoid valves to control shifting of the transmission. If this is a complete valve body with the solenoid valves in line, it's going to draw a lot more power. That's also why you need a bench power supply to do this um, because it, it'll also hum too. You'll actually hear like a humming noise out of it. It's completely normal. Um, it's just, you know, when the solenoids are plugged in, there's like almost like a frequency noise coming through it. So um, it will draw more power. So this is just based on on, on bench, no solenoids installed, okay? So my Diag Speed Pro software is open, okay? So when it opens up, it's automatically in our uh, control units page, which is the first icon, okay? So step one for this specific process is we're going to be going through extracting the old information out of the existing conductor plate, and we're gonna swap it and program it into our donor. So go ahead and hit read data. Okay, so this is all our current key hash and our um, dealer hash, right? We can read the VIN. That's my current VIN number. And this controlling it's currently locked, right? It's initialized, the TP has been removed, it's personalized and activated. So what I'm gonna do Let's go ahead and copy my VIN number. I'll just put in a little text document. Okay, and just set this to the side. Take that space out of there. Then we go back and read the data. Okay, this is the old data, so I know that the car started with this information, so I can use it. So I'm going to go over to my extended menu, my file and I'm gonna save the data. Okay, so let's just put it on the desktop for now. And I'll put 7G original hash. Save that. Okay, so that's done. Let's go ahead and unplug it. And now I'm gonna plug in my donor one that's going in the car, right? Let's go ahead and read this information. Okay, I got different hash, it's normal. And let's look at the status. Okay, so this VIN number is different and this thing is currently locked. So before we can write any new information to it, we're gonna to need to change, uh, we're gonna to need to unlock it, right? So let's go back and we're gonna hit reset data and wait. It's calculating the dealer hash and it's go automatically going through the reset procedure.
Okay, so we have a response back now. This really doesn't mean anything to us as of right now, so let's go ahead and, and read our status. Now we're in the money right here, okay? It's, it's not personalized and it's not activated anymore, right? So we, we are reset as of this moment. So the first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my VIN number from the donor. This is the actual VIN number from the car. Go ahead and paste it in this box and click right fin or VIN. Do it a couple times just to be sure. And let's go ahead and read it and see if it's stuck. Okay, there's my new VIN number matches um, so we're still unactivated so you have two options at this point this can be installed and married um, or activated with a, a uh, scan tool that has factory level software on it and go through the learn procedure which is also recommended because this is a position sensor and every time you swap a new part in here this particular part has to be learned right park position if you're not gonna do it, then advise your customers that they still need to do it, okay? So let's go ahead and read the data. This is still my old hash. So let's go ahead and load our file that we saved. So load data, load our data. Okay, personalization. Personalization is okay. Okay, to verify this, you're just going to watch this and read the information. It's stuck. Okay, so now our information is in there, correct? Let's go ahead and read our status again, see where we're at. So now we can see we have the personalized information or the hash is now written to it, but it's still not locked. So we can finish this process off and lock this information, you go ahead and read the data again, and then we're gonna click activation. Activation is okay. Verify that step. Now it's activated, okay? So that that's basically a, a very fast way of doing this. Um, we, there's also one more step that we can do, so I'm gonna make another video based on that. So this is swapping data, 7G reset, and um, activating on bench. Um, that's that's a quick process. So we'll go on to the next video, guys, and, and uh, get more in depth on this stuff. All right, thanks.